When new assessment items are created, the default scoring option is correct or incorrect. Correct incorrect scoring will work with any item. On items with more than one correct response, a student must correctly enter each response to receive credit on the item. If any portion of the response is entered incorrectly, the student receives zero points for that question. The next scoring examples will explore an assessment item with three correct responses out of five available answer choices. If point per task scoring is assigned to an item, the student receives a point for each correct response. In our example question, the student earns three points for selecting three correct responses. If the student selects all five responses, they will earn one point. Three correct responses earns three points, minus the two incorrect responses because penalty scoring is enabled. Penalty scoring is only enabled when the student selects more answer choices than correct answers available. If the directions say to choose three correct answers and the student selects all five answer choices, the student will have points deducted. The student will never receive a negative point value from a point per task item. The point value will never drop below zero. The third scoring method available for aware assessments is partial credit scoring. With partial credit scoring, the student receives a maximum of two points when all correct responses are provided, regardless of the number of correct answers present in the item. The student receives one point for selecting at least half of the correct answers and zero points if less than half of the correct answers are selected. In our example, with three correct responses, the student earns two points for selecting the three correct answers. The student earns one point for selecting two correct responses and zero points for selecting one or zero correct responses. Thanks for watching this overview of scoring methods. See you next time.